Good morning, my gorgeous friends on the internet. In today's episode, I want to give you a deeper dive of what I have in the full stack React course that was released just yesterday. There's still 400 copies left. So if you're interested in full stack development and creating an e-commerce website, I highly recommend you to, to check out with the coupon codes whilst they last because the price is going to be cheaper. So 400 left, click it, get it, support the channel, appreciate it a lot. And yeah, let me show you what we have here because I showed the trailer, but I haven't really explained what tech is going on here. So for the front end, we have Next.js, so we're using React. And the cool part is to get these products generated here, as you can see, uh, we are using Strapi. And the reason why I went with Tr Strapi, one, is because I want to show deployment. And two, it's really easy to hook it up to our application. And not only that, we can use GraphQL and the Cloudinary integration is awesome. So let me show you how easy this is to add a new product to our front end page. Uh, if I head over to Strapi, localhost 1337, you can hand this to anyone uh, that you want to manage the content. And look at that, I can go over here to products, I can create a new product and look at that. We can, we're gonna build this out, we're gonna customize it, title, description, price. So I can say, uh, this is a cool new, shirt wow wow this shirt is really cool okay it's silly something random we can add a price of 29 we can generate a slug as well let's quickly get an image of pexels and we'll just search uh shirt here i guess uh let's go with <laughs> it's just why not uh let's download this one Cool, this is so random. This doesn't fit at all, but it's okay. So let's go here and we can upload an image. Let's drag that in, hit upload. Now take a look at this. Rather than having this huge size image, once we add this product here and hit save, well, first of all, it works. So we can just refresh this and boom, we have our new product right there. Uh, the size is a bit funky on this one, but it is what it is. Boom, we have our new product added. Lovely, uh, but here's the awesome part. Once we hit save here on Strapi, it automatically gets uploaded to Cloudinary as well, which is gonna generate us nice uh, optimized images without any, without any extra work now. So if I log in here, check this out. This is really cool. So once I uploaded that, I can go to media library and boom, look at that. Five more images got generated. A thumbnail size, look at that. That's only five kilobytes, two megabytes, which is the original. And then a hundred kilobytes, 33 kilobytes. So we can use all of these in our application. So maybe here I want a, a small size, but here I want a bigger quality size. And in my cart, I want the thumbnail size just to optimize it as much as possible. So that's really, really cool. And we can check that out if we fetch it here in localhost 1337, where we can, we're gonna add GraphQL to this. So we can do a query here. We can query the products and all the images. So if we hit save, look at that, formats, and we have large, medium, small, thumbnail. Okay, that's really cool. So there we go. So that's something I really love about this. Now, here's another feature that I really wanted to do. I wanted you to be able to check out without being signed in. So you can do that. We can add products to our cart and also love these animations. Uh, and we also have layout animations going on here. How cool is that? And when we have nothing in the cart, we also get a nice message here. So all of this is, uh, we have some state hooked up here because we want this information. See, I add four here. So that goes in there, but also in the cards here. Um, so we're gonna use uh, context, React context for all of this. So anyway, we can hit purchase and still check out just fine. And that's gonna go through and we're gonna have an email sent to us uh, with the shipping address. Uh, we also are gonna take a look on how to customize this and add promo codes and um, also like shipping methods and just customize everything with Stripe here. Uh, so if we take a look here in our Stripe account, we can go over here to payments. I believe it's under, where is it? Products, here we go. So coupons, uh, we're gonna hook up 
all of these shipping rates, etc., etc. So anyway, we can check out and that will go through just fine. But we can also sign in with Google Auth. Uh, so let's click on that and there we go. So we can do email password, but most importantly, we can do Google sign in. And people ask me, oh, why don't, why don't you just use Stripe? Uh, sorry, not Stripe, Strappy here, because they have Auth as well. Or why don't we make our own authentication? And for that, I have to say, no, that's <laughs> just just bloody no. Uh, don't I say don't store user passwords on your own or don't make a system because oh boy, you don't want to be responsible in case there's a data breach and then what happens when all the passwords get leaked and all the customer information gets leaked? That's not good, man. That's really not good. So I always always opt for a service, whether that's Firebase authentication or Auth0 or all of these different products, because at least, you know, it's not on you and yeah, it's just go with that. Uh, so, and also most users prefer to sign in with Google anyway. Nobody really likes password and email, especially if it's a random website, you, you'd want to do sign up with Google. I, I prefer it and most users prefer it. So anyway, here's the cool feature, by the way, when you click on sign in with Google, look at that, you get your Google picture and Google information. If you want to check out, I believe I have a console locked here. Look at that. So you can get a lot of these different things, but the best part is once you sign in with Google or you create an account, it automatically generates a Stripe customer. So take a look here in my off, I believe I can show you off zero. As soon as we sign in, let me log in quickly here. Of course, this is taking forever, but take a look here. Let, let's go to the dashboard. So once we sign in, if I go over here to all the users that got signed in, which is user management users, we automatically are going to run a, an action here or a little code that creates a Stripe customer and links it to this account. So now the cool part about this is that if we make a purchase, so let's make a purchase here quickly. Uh, see, it automatically com completes the email now as well because it's hooked up to it. Let me add just some random details here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So add, add that, boom, 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 boom. And when we hit pay, the order goes through. So we can check it here and payments. There we go. Boom. Order went through. But not only that, since we're logged in and my off is linked to the Stripe account, we can pull out information from the orders. So I can get the order number. If there's an issue, uh, you can pull out the amount, the receipt email, uh, that was sent through and there's quite a bit more information that you can pull out, but you can save all of this data in your off account here. So that's really cool. I really love how this works. So hopefully you enjoy it just as much as I, I love making it. And the whole process of making this, I feel like is the most simple way. I tried so many different, uh, ways of building this out, uh, whether it's with different headless CMSs. I tried one where I did the full backend just with backend and tried to do everything there. Uh, but this process here, I feel like is the easiest way to do it. So if you want to add this to your portfolio, if you want to check out the course, I would really appreciate that. So anyway, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.